I was 16 years old and lied about my age that I was 17 and went into the Navy on January the 28th, 1941. We thought we had a great airplane. We really did. And we thought we could really do something. I know I had no idea that, that I'd end up in the only airplane that got back. Japanese fighters. About that time I realized Jay Manning wasn't doing any firing and I looked over my shoulder and I could see that he had been hit. I was knocked out. I, I went unconscious for quite a period of time and I when I came to, I could see blood pouring down off my face. I put my hand up, and it felt like I could put my finger in a hole, although in reality, my skull was still solid. So then I called the pilot on the intercom and said that I told him I thought Jay had been killed and I was wounded. He came on the intercom again and wanted to know if I could see if the torpedo got away. But when I went back down to try to look into the bomb bay, the area that I could look through was solid with blood from Jay, and I couldn't tell for sure if the torpedo was gone or not. But I think both of us at the same time saw a big column of black smoke on the horizon, and the next thing I know, he tried to make a landing on Midway and we could tell as soon as we landed and the starboard wing went down and contacted the runway and the airplane just ground looped right off into the sand. Then I found my baseball cap that I'd been wearing was laying down there with a bullet hole in it. And, uh, of course, realized by late afternoon that the other five airplanes of our group were not coming back. And I had doubts that I would survive, yeah. I thought about it, yeah. And something I've never said to anybody, never, ever, ever said. When I did come to, I felt like there was somebody with me, like my father. Or that, that God was there with me. I had that strange feeling that maybe I'll survive this thing but I, I've never talked about it because I don't want people to think I'm crazy. But, uh, but I had that feeling that somebody was there with me and that I was going to survive. Yeah. I don't feel like a hero, no, at all. Because I didn't do anything heroic, I just survived. To me, they're the guys that went and didn't come back. Those are the heroes. Always remember these good people and the sacrifice they made to, to help save our country.